my name's Liam Watson. I'm the manager of capital delivery and assets at Kippy Council. And we're here to talk today about the flood hazard area update for the building regulation. The objective of today's presentation, we'll discuss requirements of the building regulation. We'll discuss the increased flood study information available. We'll update the flood hazard area um, and update on the defined flood level and then the any next steps. So in terms of the building regulation, uh, it's the legislative framework for building work in Queensland, including designation of flood prone areas. It requires a council resolution to enable aspects of the regulation to come into effect. The QDC or Queensland Development Code then supplements the building regulation to provide further guidance on buildings within flood hazard areas. Council has recently undertaken a large number of flood studies across its region. Uh, we now have flood studies across the Mary River, Yabba Creek, Kandanga Creek, Amamore Creek, Eel Creek, Tanana Creek, Widgee Creek, Wide Bay Creek, Curra Creek, Nango Creek, um, at the Township of Gamari, Kalula Cove and Tinkan Bay. We're also progressing additional flood studies for Six Mile Creek, Deep Creek and Benara Creek. Due to the greater extent of the flood uh, study information that we now have available, uh, we have reduced our reliance on the existing QRA floodplain data for flood hazard identification. The new modelling is an improvement on the existing modelling through improved terrain data, increased capability of software packages, and is in accordance with the Australian Rainfall and Runoff Guidelines 2019. So with the new uh, flood study information, uh, Council has updated its defined flood level, um, which is implemented through the building regulation. So the, the defined flood level is the level to which it is reasonably expected flood waters may rise. Historically, Council has used the 1% AEP or the 1 in 100 year flood event uh, to define the DFL. The state planning policy uh, does require Council to align with future climate factors for increased rainfall intensity. Uh, which enhances the community's resilience to natural hazards. Council resolved to adopt the future climate 1% AEP as the defined flood level um, at the September ordinary meeting in 2023. To summarise some of the impacts of uh, the future climate, um, through GIMPI, the future climate DFL is approximately uh, 0 0.75 metres higher than the current climate DFL. At Gamaria, that change is uh, 0 0.1 metres, um, and at Imbal, um, the future climate DFL is 0 0.3 metres higher than the current climate DFL. As part of this process, uh, we've updated the flood hazard area, an area designated by Council as the flood hazard area. Uh, for this iteration, uh, the flood hazard area has been mapped to include any properties impacted by the DFL, Building works within the flood hazard area must comply with the additional building requirements set out in the QDC. Um, as an update, the mapping uh, that defines the, the flood hazard area and the DFL is available on Council's town planning online map, where you can uh, see the latest information. Regarding building and development within the DFE, so Council has software which enables it to query the updated flood models. Uh, for building works within the DFE, depth and velocity information can be provided. For development works within the DFE, uh, relevant flood models can also be purchased. Um, as an update, Council is looking to provide a public-facing portal um, that provides flood extent, depth and velocity um, to decrease reliance on Council providing this information. Uh, for further information, please visit Council's website um, where there is a designated web page for the changes to the building, uh, floor height for the building regulation. Thank you for your time. Bye.